Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground is brought to you by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. Hi, I'm Brian Skinnis, owner of Terrapin Station in Nevis. This has evolved into a music, art, and wellness center. I started in 1993 with Essential Oils, and the reason that I got in started with Essential Oils was a concept called Aromatic Omnivision, which is a harmonic synergy of sound, light, and aroma capable of leading the mind through archetypal states of consciousness by tuning brainwave frequencies. And so it's just grown up around us, a piece at a time. And I, you know, it's amazing how it's grown into this, where we're doing the live recording. Uh, it's just a thrill. Well, the building was falling apart. It was the old county garage back about 100 years ago. And in the 50s, it was turned into a gamble store. And the, the kids of the person who did that, they had it, and it just kind of went downhill. They're trying different things with it. It was six years ago that I bought the building, and we really had to kind of reclaim it. We fixed the roof because it was leaking, put in a new ceiling, the wood ceiling, uh, which is excellent for the acoustics. And uh, we've a actually, it's the best p condition that it's been in since we started. A year ago, I moved up front with our guitar shop and everything. After the first year, we took out the wall that separated the hallway from the main sound area and reoriented the stage so that we could open up the whole area. And just here recently, we added subwoofers, so it's always a work in progress. I'm a deadhead from way back, you know. I used to go around the, this part of the country with uh, uh, following the Grateful Dead around, and Terrapin Station is an album by the Grateful Dead, and so that's why we came up with the name. Terrapin Station is a music, art, and wellness center, and so our offerings all come under that umbrella. We have, of course, music, live music. Uh, we also sell music up front. We have musical instruments. My wife is an artist. We have art in the back, and the whole place has kind of got an artistic bent to it. And the wellness, my wife is a massage therapist, and our core business is actually essential oils and aromatherapy products. That's what brought us, you know, even to do any of this. That's really our foundation. Yeah, one thing that's unique about Terrapin Station as a live listening room is that we don't have a liquor license, we don't serve alcohol, and it's a very family-oriented environment, which is good in a, in a couple of ways. One is the, the sound as far as recording, everyone's really paying attention and it's not loud, but uh, also we'll get moms and kids, I mean all ages, dancing on the floor, which is a very special situation to have here. Terrapin Station, as far as being in this community, brings a lot of things that would normally not be found in a bar. Uh, a lot of times in a bar you've got people that are coming because they, you know, they want to get out a night on the town and music is really more on the side. Where here, music is the reason people come and we feature original music and musicians from all over love to come here and play because they play their original music, people are paying attention and we get great recordings because it's not a loud talking environment. When we first started with uh, finding music, uh, musicians up in this part of the country, I had no idea how to really find live musicians. So I did an internet search and found some local people and started inviting them. And before the first year was over, I uh, heard tale of uh, Charlie Parr out of uh, Duluth area. And I'd, I recognized that name and I thought, wow, I'd love it if he came over and he finished our first season. And what it started to, to happen was we had people from, uh, we had one guy from Ohio that uh, called and said, I'd really like to come up and play. And I was like, Ohio, you know, I mean, that's a long ways away and we, you know, we don't have a big budget or anything. And he goes, well, I saw your place and it really looks like a cool place to play. So I was like, okay. And next thing you know, people from Georgia, people from California. And then I realized, uh, people are traveling through all the time. And so we're capturing more people than I would have ever expected that would play here and uh, being able to meet uh, really great original artists has just been so much fun. We've had uh, you know Enchanted Ape, Absolute Groove out of the cities, we had Daredevil Christopher Wright out of uh, Wisconsin area. Um, we just had a number of great people and the Color Pharmacy we got in touch with um, just here in the last couple of months and really enjoyed their their material and thought well it'd be great to have them up and so that's that's who's playing tonight
sol Well, what I would like to have people understand about Terrapin Station is that we're constantly evolving and just trying to really pursue the art of uh, good quality music and sharing it and developing a network of people who are really interested in the art of music and the art of art. I mean, putting it all together and uh, every year something happens that I would not have expected to happen. It seems to blossom in one extra level and so I think anybody who's interested in you know, live original music and people that are really serious about the, their art, especially their original music, uh, should really connect up with what we're doing. There's room to come and listen, there's room to purchase albums from the bands. We have a lot of YouTube videos that are up there and we're really trying to support original music. M not just with a place to play and some money for the night, which we split the door, uh, but the, uh, the YouTube videos that we have up, I think really helps they can attach to that and spread the word about what they're doing. I would love to see Terrapin Station develop into, uh, in addition to just the live, original live music listening room, I want to 
expand into the recording even more so. Just really, you know, take it up every step of the way, try to get better equipment as we go, get more people involved. Uh, you know, having you guys here, this is just fantastic. I mean, really, I'm sitting back there thinking this is kind of a dream come true. This is sort of a peak experience to have you guys here and have recording with the Color Pharmacy. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground, consider making a contribution at lptv.org.